hello friends welcome to explore youtube channel today in this tutorial video we'll be going to learn about something new which is quite handy for your work efficiency in order to get precise information last time because sometimes you have to prepare a huge amount of data and you have to use this data as a directory like you have to search for telephone number and so on but here in Excel spreadsheet if you have prepared a huge amount of data of sales or any kind of data then how you can sort this data and find precise information so you do not have to incur any kind of flaws such as time wastage or cost wastage to understand this example I demonstrate you about a sales data of persons names have been displayed in a column and in B we have regions to which region they have belong and the IDs the amount of policy the insurance policy they have done and what is the status of their policy and the mode they have used to complete their task so let's see and demonstrate a user form for instance if I have been asked by the boss to get the data of particular person then how I can do this so here is an complete demonstration we click on search button and you can see here I have prepared a user form and if I have to search for Dave now you can see here there are two persons who have belonged to Dave who have belonged to South region and they have been displayed over here in case if I have to go for David then you can see here now data is being all almost more minimized and in case if I have to see the data of the North sales personnel I just mentioned North over here and you can see here it has completely minimized the data to the North region only in case of looking for East and now you can see here I have only get data for East and to add more advantage to this friend if you would like to find as amount then you just mention the amount here you can see here there is only one person who has done around 50,000 and that person name is David for instance if somebody have to find out how many sales personals who have done around 68,000 so you will find out there are four persons who have done insurance policy of amount 68,000 and they are of different regions how many sales has been done through online I just mentioned online over here and all the online data is being displayed over here in case how many people have come to the office and our sales person has dealt them and complete the information at office only I just mentioned office over here and you can see here all the sales personals who have done their business from office are being displayed over here including all the relevant informations so friends how I have prepared this user form let's go for it so you can understand it more about the VBA coding so first you have to go to developer tab over there you have to basics this is a user form what you have to do is the next step is you just click in the list box and come over here in the properties and here you can see column count so right now we have six columns one two three four five and six so we have to mention these six columns over here and you can see here I mentioned and then you have to click anything outside in the user form simple code for the user form only which is mid dot text box one dot set focus so friends now we use the code for this text box here is the code for text box first you have to mention an own error resume next means if it don't found the relevant information then it move on to the next one and here the code is b dot text box one dot text equals what is the purpose of this code this code is being used when you are using the proper case uppercase or lowercase right now you can see here in the a column the name is being started with capital letters which is uppercase and if the name is being started with lowercase then it is small letters so that's the purpose of this code over here which is me dot xbox one dot text comma vb proper case and parenthesis close so next what we will do we will add the code v me dot list box dot clear once our data is being displayed on search that it should get clear once we move to the next data so here we will use a string which is dim i as long and to set i we use for i equal to 2 to application dot worksheet function dot count a 
parenthesis is open sheet one dot range parenthesis is open again double quotes a is the column this column and this huge column is being used against over here again over here a then double quotes closed the parenthesis closed and once more you have to close the parenthesis the purpose of this code is we are using count a formula which is counter and here our data is being going to be displayed from row number two that's why we mentioned two over here but to display all these six columns in the list box we will use another code which is 4x equal to 1 to 6 means first column until the sixth column and here we will use a length formula here we will be going to use a length coding which is a equal to length open parenthesis me dot text box one dot text parenthesis close and here what happens if our data is being found or not so we'll use so we will use if left parenthesis open sheet one dot cells parenthesis open i we have already set the i by using the count for counter formula comma x this x is the row this x is the column means our data is being displayed in the i row and it's in the x column comma parenthesis close dot value comma a so here we have used the length coding over there so we will reference if it a parenthesis closed equal to me dot text box one dot text and me dot text box one dot text greater than so we use this code by putting double quotes over here if it find nothing then what happens then me dot list box one dot add item sheet one dot cells i comma one dot value the purpose of this this code is we are going to display all these six columns in list box and it should get added because we have also referenced the row from which row the data should be displayed in the list box that is from row number two and it's being referenced as i and comma with first column that it should display first column which is a dot value now friends what we have to do further is we once our data is being added the our chances your data get repetitive with same names so how we can sort out this information is then 4c equal to 1 to 6 me dot list box 1 dot list parenthesis open list box 1 dot list count minus 1 comma c so we have referred the c over here again from the columns from the number of columns equal to sheet 1 dot cells friends our data is being displayed over here in the sheet number one so you have to mention the sheet number over here as well dot cells and again we mentioned the i the rows comma c plus one means if somebody is having a same name then it's data two displayed over there if it matches the same name dot value now for next we have to do is the end if next x next i and sub and here you have to mention the user form your user form is user form one dot show so that's it ready to use your user form of list box with search text box how many policies is being done so we just mentioned done so we'll get the data of done for instance somebody has cancelled their policies we can see here whosoever has cancelled their policies i hope friends you like this video please like share and subscribe explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you thank you for watching this video